Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gill Stadium for the Queen City matinee. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gill Stadium for tonight's Queen City Jamboree game number four. The Pembroke Academy Spartans versus the Central Little Green. Central has won the coin toss, and Pembroke will be kicking off. Pembroke kicking from left to right. A little pooch kick. Oh, it works perfectly for Pembroke. An onside kick, and it is recovered by number four, Logan Saracen. And Pembroke is all excited right now to be able to start their season off just like that with a nice onside kick that worked to perfection. And Coach Ray has got to be not happy with his special teams right there as that was a tough way to have the turnover go down three seconds into the game. And now we'll see what the Spartans have in store, getting prime field position at the 47-yard line. Looks like their quarterback is none other than Joe Fitzgerald, the sophomore. And it looks like referees have stopped any sort of... <coughs> uh, still working on the chain gang, it looks like. And now Fitzgerald quickly hands it off to the speedy running back who is knocked out of bounds. Number 32 is none other than Luke Hansen. And but a flag is on the play right at the line of scrimmage. And the officials waiting to see. Looks like it's gonna be against the Spartans. It will go for a holding, so Hemrick not looking so promising so far. We'll go back another five yards. Pembroke playing in Division Two East, while Little Green will be Division One Central. Oh, neutral zone infraction. Pembroke got to get some yards back. Hard count right there by the Spartans. Works to their advantage. The scoreboard operator not working as well as we've seen in the previous games tonight. Mobsy took the night off. So now, oh, fumble. Fitzgerald tries to get it, but it looks like it's going to be recovered by the little green. Oh, and Fitzgerald was able to get it. Very close to get it was number 70 for the little green and Johnny Pellerin, the senior. It's now to be a second and 15 here. Fitzgerald still in the shotgun with Hanson back there in the backfield as well. A blitz. Fitzgerald gets rid of it. Re caught by number 15. Ankle kind of rolled up there. And Josh Pilot. Yeah, you can see him limping right there. He I could see the ankle kind of got rolled up on as he was being brought down, and Ovi Palat will be able to return. So now a third down and four to go. From the 42-yard line, Fitzgerald. Got to hand it off to Hanson. Hanson trying to go to the outside. Lots of Chris, or little green able to wrap him up and bring him down for a loss. And that will be fourth down for the Spartans. A very long three and out basically with penalties by both squads. And looks like the little green will be getting the ball. It'll be a fourth and 10, and let's see if 
they go for it here. It looks like they are going to. Not sure if Pembroke has a punter or if they've had a chance to really practice. Running out of time on the play clock, though. Fitzgerald tries to deke around one player, throws it, and incomplete. And that will go for a turnover on downs and Central all fired up right now. They were fired up nine minutes before the game even started. And now we'll have a chance to see this offense of Central. Looking at big number 51, my goodness. He is a good sized player in Brett Beddington. Used to seeing Brett on the baseball field, playing a pretty strong right field. But here he is, more on the offensive line here, or as a tight end it looks like. Oh, here we go, first and 10. Oh, I see a false start there, but didn't wasn't called. And now we'll see what the quarterback of Liam Murphy can do here. Liam's gonna be running back and forth to get the play calls from Coach Ray. It'll be second and 10. Now, oh, sorry. I'm a little crazy on the camera there. Murphy in the shotgun. Quick handoff, finds a hole, gets a first down and more, and Little Green looking very good with the running of Caden Preston right there. Preston already needs some help with his, but he gets some pat in the back. And it, just like that, Little Green into the Spartan field at the 37 yard line and first and 10. Murphy still in the shotgun. Looking like a little screen pass. Try to make the catch, but unsuccessful was none other than number three, Owen Kelly. Owen, been very busy with playing lacrosse in the spring, hockey in the fall. His brother as well doing track and field, graduating last year, going up to Colby College. So we'll see what Owen can do. See if they go back, to see if he gets accepted to Colby College, see if they play together some more. But now it's second and 10 after that incompletion and Murphy gonna throw it again. It gets deflected. Great job by the big man, number 58 for the Spartans in Evan Levensky. And now Central in some trouble being a third and 10. Pembroke, not really the biggest squad, but some of these guys look pretty big down there. I'm looking at you, number 73 and Michael Bouchard. But here we go. Third down and 10. Murphy in the shotgun again. It's going to be a quick handoff. Trying to get on the outside. Miss, makes a man miss. Keeps his feet going. And is brought down at about the 21 yard line. And that will be good for a little green first down. Very good running so far from what we've seen from Preston. Could be the Little Green's workhorse this year from the way things are going. 7.50 remaining in this first quarter, first half, I guess you can say. 0-0 zero, zero game. But Little Green are certainly looking to change things up. First possession didn't really happen after an onside kick. And now Preston finds a hole and is brought down and it will be first and goal from the nine yard line. Great blocking so far from what we've seen from Central. 
Central will be here next week versus the Salem Blue Knights. A 7 o'clock start here at Gill Stadium. Manchester Public Television looking to possibly make that game happen here. The way things are going, they could be at Salem beat out Goffstown in game number one today by a score of 30 to nothing. So Central has got to prove themselves here. And here we go. Murphy swings around. Finds a guy still working on his feet. And in, oh, he's marked down at the one yard line. He tried to reach across and just it wasn't able to get. So it'll be a second and goal from the seven inch line. See what Pember can do on the goal line to stop anything from happening. Murphy gets the play. Calls the huddle. I'm going to assume it's going to be a QB sneak from what I've seen from Coach Ray in the past. Uh, it's actually a handoff, and he is in for the touchdown. I believe that it's none other than Preston getting that ball across the line and scoring. And now the little green. Able to take a 6-0 lead, 5.49 remaining in this first quarter. And still not pleased with his offensive lineman trying to yell at him as Coach Ray and Matthew Koning, the sophomore. Just got to get some hard loving. Trying to make this extra point. I have number 23 out there, but there's no one listed on the screen. And he kicks that over the fence, into the parking lot, possibly over to Beach Street, as perks perfectly to show you the scoreboard, as it was, should be changing to seven. You remember, this is just a, a jamboree. This is, a, it's all good that scoreboard operators aren't 100% familiar with how to press the buttons just yet. Well, back deep for the Spartans. Looks like it's gonna be Colby Dupree. And let's see, 21, I got none other than Khalil Armstrong. And it looks like a Mike Gagnon possibly as well back there. So, balls on the 40 yard line. And whistle blown, and asking ready, ready, and boom, it goes. Caught about the six or seven yard line, and Armstrong tries to make some plays. He's gonna be wrapped up and brought down about the 25 yard line. A little green all fired up right there. You can see the excitement. It's number 27 in Jamin Jones. J-Man Jones giving lots of love and hugs right there. And Pembroke will get their second chance at the, with the offense on the offensive side of things. And their white jerseys and dark green helmets and pants going left or right across your screen. Battle of the green and white. Spartans and the, well, actually Crusaders, or a little green more wearing the silver tonight. Fitzgerald in the backfield, man in motion. Little sweet across, but there's nothing happening there as he is gonna probably make it back to the line of scrimmage. I think it was Adam Holer, or John Holer, who got that ball. Oh, uh, there was a flag on the play. That's why we we're waiting around, seeing what's going on. I was wondering why there was no uh, excitement going on. Oh, 
Um, penalty was on Central, so I'll move the ball up to the 39-yard line. So a penalty allows a first down for the Spartans. 5.32 remaining. Fitzgerald tries to do a hard count. Didn't work this time. Little screen pass and goes for an incompletion. Not sure who is actually that was aimed at. Closest guy on the field that I saw was number 50 in Nick Cushing, who's an offensive lineman. Looks like they had a screen going, just had to deliver the ball a little earlier than he expected. Now second and 10. And a handoff, nice trick play. Gets some yards, gets the first down. Bowls a man over. And a big first down right there by Khalil Armstrong. Wow, uh, unfortunate for Trevor Wong to be on the wrong side of that as a defensive back. He tried to make the tackle and he kind of got bowled over, but there's always the next play. Can't work it. Worry about the negatives. Got to look forward to the positives. Forward. Now, first and 10 into the Little Green territory. Go to the Spartans from the 45 yard line. Shotgun tries to make some plays. Can he get around? He misses, makes one guy miss. A little toss, a little too high, unfortunately, for. Colby Dupree to be able to make that play. It would have probably gone for negative yards had he caught it as Fitzgerald had to run at least 10 yards back to try to have the defender miss the tackle, which would have been a big sack. Pembroke football program started in 98 and has not had a winning season in 24 years, I believe. It's uh, certainly been tough times up there in the uh, SAU 53. Hand off right here. Armstrong looking good here, trying to get another first down, and he will do it. The ball comes out, though, and it's whistled. Let's see what they say. If it was forward possession that was called or what. Their referees are maybe too early on calling that. To me, it would have been a fumble. Owen Kelly says the same exact thing. He's not pleased right now. Referees still chatting about things. And it looks like It will be officially Little Green ball, so a fumble helps Little Green after Khalil Armstrong, who had consecutive great runs, coughs up the ball at the 34-yard line, and now with 4.48 to go, Little Green with another chance to drive and put up another TD. go first down throw a timing route just was not able to be set up very well Jacob Maloney the attempted receiver now Pembroke second and ten Three wide receivers to the near side to us, one on the far side, and we'll see if Murphy airs one out here. Oh, he's gonna run it. 
some good blocking here. Makes one guy miss, and it finally brought down. Tackle there by number 51 in Damian Henderson. Henderson, if he had gotten a pass Henderson, who knows how many yards he would have gained at that. Now a third and one as Caden Selfie comes in with the play call. Looks like Caden is gonna do the QB work. Salvi. Oh, encroachment on the defense. That will be easy five yard and a first down for the little green. Hard count being used and the Spartans fell for it clearly. Clock being called, said to run, 3.50 to go. 48, 52 yards away from a low snap, handoff. It's good blocking, big hit right there. A collision between number 10, Trevor Wong, and number four in Logan Saracen. And a flag was thrown though. And that will bring the little green back. Hold and called on the play. Little green gonna lose 10 yards on that. Caden Salvi, just a sophomore, listed as a quarterback and linebacker. Giving it a little bit of time for Liam Murphy, who's obviously got the little green on the board. Pemmerich looking to blitz, throw just off the arms, outstretched hands of Owen Kelly there. Owen oh, certainly has a very long arm span. Should make it very easy for him to catch some of those passes, but just got to get on the same page. Now here we go. Green trying to get, have the same result as the last drive. Salvi going to throw it up. He's able to make that catch. It looks like a Julian Edelman. Oh, he slips and falls. Great running right there by Ethan Holmes. Very impressive speed and agility, but unfortunately he got the tread of the turf that tied him up and made him fall down, so. It should be pretty cool to see Ethan Holmes, the senior, getting a plenty of chances to make those plays throughout the season. And now back onto the field is Caden Preston. So I expect a hard run here. A third and about 12 to go. And now Salvi gonna toss it up. Nice smooth throw. And unfortunately, not able to get there in time was his favorite receiver, Ethan Holmes. So it will be a fourth down. Penalty was called, but Spartans will be dumb to accept that. Or maybe they're not, we'll see. Holding. Yeah, all right, I was right. 
was like, maybe they will make him go further back, but instead, with just under two minutes to go, the Spartans will get a chance to get the ball. They will be getting the ball first in the second half. Or however this works tonight. I guess there's only, they're only playing two quarters, so. Looks like, I'm not really sure exactly what's going on. A timeout has been called by the Spartans. That's what's going on here. Pemmerk in for a tough season. They face against Plymouth next Saturday, a two o'clock start. Plymouth always up there in the final four of Division Two. Those Bobcats are pretty strong. Then they have Kennett at home the following Saturday. Kennett always in a tough spot where they are some years have some players and other years they just don't have it all in them. Then on September 17th, Hillsborough Deering Hopkinton comes up to Pembroke to the academy to play. 924, they'll have Guilford Belmont. That's their only night game of the year, which is crazy to me. You think Friday night football, and unfortunately it's Saturday day football. And now, a punt will be happening for the Little Green. Boots it up in the air, good hang time, drops down, and will be wrapped up after about a five yard gain. So first and 10 will go for the Spartans, Khalil Armstrong who coughed up the ball their last time they were driving, made that Receiving punt or kickoff? No, punt. Minute 50 remaining. Third time Pembroke has had the ball in this Queen City Jamboree game. Joe Fitzgerald hands off the ball. Trying to make something happen, but he's going to be taken and thrown out of bounds. Great attempt there by Luke Hansen, but a great tackle by, I mean, he wrapped up, really did the work with Caden Preston and a few others that just wasn't able to get their numbers in time. Fitzgerald, oh, he's got to run. Instead, he hands it off. Hansen try to get around the edge, is able to do it, and is able to get that first down. Oh, excuse me, that was Armstrong that time. My apologies to... The sophomore running back, doing a pretty good job. Stop the clock by going out of bounds. So first and 10 on the, for the Spartans. Quick out. And he's gonna be taken down. Nice work right there by number eight. And Daw Dawin Tyler False. A three yard loss on that play. Let's see if Spartans haven't really thrown the ball in a while. 
Gets some happy feet, has to get away. Just drops it off. Try to make something happen, but unable to. Darwin there again. Good attempt by Armstrong, just not able to get go things going. And now a third and 13 for the Spartans. Trevor Wong out there as well for that play. And that will kill the first quarter slash half of this contest. Little Green six, Spartan zero. But Spartans have a big third and 13 right here that could really help them out if they can keep this drive alive and possibly take the lead if they were to score. Again, it is a tough contest having D2 versus D1 and Little Green capitalizing right now being in a bigger division. Just a absolutely beautiful night here for football. 71 degrees, a little bit warm. Possible rain in the next hour, so hopefully this game gets over before then. And now, my apologies, third and nine here for the Spartans. That last completion did get a little bit more yards than I thought that it did. And away we go. Last 12 minutes of the Queen City Jamboree happening now. Pass there up. Incomplete though. And now we saw this earlier. The Spartans went for it on fourth down. And will they do it again? A pass was attempted to Logan Saracen, but was incomplete. See if they have a kicker this time. Looks like number 10, Peyton Harmony, the junior, is out there to receive this snap. Looks like back deep, it might be Ethan Holmes. Snap, kick, pretty good air time. Plenty of time for his teammates to get down there but smartly held on to and kept there. So the Little Green will get the ball at about the 28, 29 yard line. And if they can do anything like they did their last drive, they should be able to score and add to their lead. But Pembroke has been pretty stifling on their defense as well. And looking forward to seeing what happens here. Game number four. Queen City Jamboree. Thank you for those watching here on Manchester Public Television live on this Friday evening. I know that the New England Patriots are on, which might be a little bit more exciting, but you know, for these kids, they appreciate the viewership and being able to look back and see you know, what they did right and what they did wrong. Handoff here, come around the edge, trying to find a hole and runs into a bunch of white jerseys Timeout called as there is a flag on the field. And Coach Ray, not pleased. Not sure if it's the referee or if he's just not pleased with uh, Caden Salvi here. Caden looks like he's gonna be possibly the second string quarterback here but has looked, has played the majority of this game. And now, 
Salvi gets the shotgun formation. Snaps for the hit. Now it's a timing route. Makes the catch and thrown out of bounds. Good tackle there by Luke Hansen. Good reception there though by the Jacob Maloney. Amazing how far Coach Ray's voice goes up here in the booth. Second 11 for the Little Green. Trying to get this drive going. That play, he's looking to pass. He's able to make the play and unfortunately was incomplete. So Spartans were able to stop him. And now it'll be a third and 11. Looks like some umbrellas have started to pop out out there. I'm not sure if, yeah, I actually, if you'll, I'll show up to the lights after this play. Third and 11 from the 27 yard line. Little Green trying to, oh, a fumble snap, gets the ball. Oh, it's still on the ground and the Spartans will recover in a wonderful field position. At about the 26 yard line, it'll be first and 10 for the Spartans. A absolute tough play by Caden Salvi. Try to get that ball and unfortunately wasn't able to handle it cleanly. Even on the second attempt, referees are in a huddle trying to talk things over. Making sure that it is still Spartan ball. So waiting for a call here. Not sure, I mean, it's certainly clearly a Spartan recovery. Referee gonna come over and talk to the coach here. Oh, this when this happens, it's never a good sign. Well, it looks like the uh, tough being up here. I'm not really sure what the, exactly that call was. Uh, I mean, he, that that hand confusion all around is now the the. <laughs> The offense for the Little Green have to come back out. I my, my only guess is that maybe he did have the ball and he was down before they called the play. Well, here we go. <laughs> Little Green with the ball again. Uh, pass play. Throws it up. Owen Kelly with a great reception that will go for a first down. Kept his toes in, caught it cleanly, and boom, look just like that. But again, the dreaded flag changes everything. See what the call is here. Well, 
Looks like a personal foul, possibly, as. Let's see where they mark the ball. Oh, here he goes. PA announcer says it was a hold call. It just was a, the way that he announced it was very quickly. It's been a very long minute and 54 seconds here to start this second quarter slash half here. 12, 24 minute games. Oh, that should have been a handoff finally gets the ball. Spartans a little bit of shoving going on here. Caden Preston looked like he was a little bit uh, unfamiliar with the, the play there as he gets up and he seems to be uh, like he got the wind knocked out of him. Gets all the tire pebbles off of him. And now Pembroke should be getting the ball back this time as the punt team is out there. Pemmer expecting the unexpected here. One guy back a little too far deep in my opinion, but. Oh yeah, that was a good bounce there for the little green. And the ball will be finally touched down at about the 44 yard line. So I'm not sure if the Spartan receiver was Expecting much more or if he's just afraid of the ball, but either way, it works very well for the central little green to get a couple extra yards and it'll be first and 10 for the Spartans. Who I have a goose egg up on the scoreboard right now. I've had a couple decent plays, but they got to get something rolling here. Joe Fitzgerald, the junior quarterback, has looked pretty good here and there when he's had time. A little handoff here. Hanson tries to get around. Able to get at least four yards on that first down play. Excuse me, Armstrong. I, I don't know why I keep getting Armstrong and Hanson mixed up, but I'll figure this out as I only have under 10 minutes to go in this game. Give some love to some other Spartans. Evan Levansky right there. Aiden Weldon out there as well. Fitzgerald rolls out. Makes the catch and push out of bounds. Couple yard gain by Logan Saracen. Logan, a pretty good size Wide receiver there. Not the most amazing speed, but hey, if you got hands, then you can make it happen. So that will go for another four yard gain. So it'll be third and two here from the near sideline. I'm really impressive. A lot of these Memorial players are down below us playing catch. Like, even though they have already played a game and lost 13-0. High snap, Fitzgerald able to get it out. Oh, not able to get that first down and brought down. Saracen tried to make a man move, miss, but unfortunately was not able to do it. And bringing him down is none other than Jack Bishop. So... Fourth down means punt team this time for the Spartans. A three and out, oh, basically a tough job on offense. I guess it's you know a little bit difficult playing against a big squad like Central. Let's see how they, the kick is. Laces out, good job. And it's gonna be a fair caught. 
by Ethan Holmes. So Little Green will get that ball at the 23 yard line. Been back and forth for a little bit here. No one's really making long drives. See who comes out for quarterback this time for Central. And we'll be back to Liam Murphy. I see him already. Making his way out, so. I'm not sure if Salvi's day is over, but for now, that's going back to Liam Murphy. Under nine minutes ago in this contest. Murphy makes the throw. It was on the wrong shoulder for Holmes. Holmes immediately pats his chest saying, my bad, my bad. It looked like he went for the out when it was an in. Coach Ray can't be too upset with his QB there. It was wide receiver ran the wrong route. But now we'll have a second and 10 here. And out of the huddle, the little green go. Long ways to the end zone. Looking to make a long pass out there. Incomplete though. Props to Owen Kelly for trying to make that happen. He tried to jump over number four and Logan Saracen just was not able to keep his feet in bounds. And now it'll be a third and 10 with roughly only 10 seconds coming off the field. Well, wow, that's certainly a special night here at the Queen City Jamboree. We're seeing a lot of unique things on this night. Good luck to the Salem Blue Devils and the Goffs and Grizzlies on their seasons as well as the Trinity Pioneers and the Bishop Gordon Cardinals. And it looks like a QB draw. He fumbles. No, he kept onto the ball. The Spartans tried to get him to fumble, but he was not able to. And unfortunately, Liam Murphy has to come back. And the punt team will come back onto the field. And Spartans just down six points. Will get a chance to get the ball again. Joe Fitzgerald just not getting enough time to make clean passes. And their run game has been really obsolete. There's been some good plays by Armstrong and Hanson, but overall, now we'll see what we got here. Kicks up in the air, not very far. And it's gonna land in Little Green territory at about the 39 yard line. Uh, they're gonna mark it at the 40. But that's all Pembroke has to do, will go 40 yards much easier than 80. The battle of field position is working in the Spartan, ter Spartan favor right now. 7.45 remaining in this game. Now, finally, we've got the 10 players on the field as Damian Henderson comes out. And away we go. First of 10 Spartans. Little screen pass that's going to go for a half a yard and a big hit after the play, kind of. Oh, we're going to get a personal foul for that. Glad to see Armstrong get up on his own power. He'll have to come off here. Gets a pat in the back from his coach. And now we'll see. Uh, personal foul on there, so. Pembroke would, only would have been a half yard 
now with the 15 yards tacked on, will be down about the 25 yard line. I'll try to help the officials out so they know where to walk. There you go. All right. All right. Either way, first and 10 from the 25 yard line. Spartans looking to tie up this game. Pass there, trying to make something happen, but wrapped up in a good tackle there by number six. Jacob Maloney says, I don't want your baloney. We're able to wrap him up and make the play. Logan Saracen with that catch. Not really much mustard on that throw. It really kind of put Saracen out there in a no man's land where he, if he didn't shed that first tackler, he was certainly going down fast. And what actually goes for a two yard loss, or excuse me, a two yard gain. It's Gerald in the shotgun again. Quick handoff right here to Armstrong. A flag on the play. Let's see if he'll be a holding. Sixty-two, not pleased, yelling at his teammate Logan Burgess. Yeah, holding on the offense of Pembroke. Six forty-eight to go. They're going backwards. Back down to the 35 yard line, so. Be a long second down. Fitzgerald comes in, gives the play. Haven't seen much of Adam Heldman here, number 83 for the Spartans. See if he gets into the action here. In the backfield is Luke Hansen this time. Hansen looking to block, looking to block. Fitzgerald throws it up. And unfortunately was not able to get to Saracen. Kind of hit the back side of Dawson Tyler Fulce. And now be about a third and 24. Yeah, third and 20. Pembroke can only hope for basically a big play or possibly another personal foul to help this drive stay alive. Certainly out of field goal territory at this moment. Shotgun, let's loose. The throw's up there. Oh, just over the arms, but a personal foul is possibly happened. Flag is on the play. See the flag on the play at the 12 yard line. A limping Spartan though comes off the field. And the officials talking it over. See what they, spot it and what the penalty is. It's not a spot penalty like in the NFL. I believe it's just a 10 yards if it's personal foul. All right, a little green. Something to work on this week. And now it'll, it actually went for a 15 yard penalty. So now it'll be a third and five here from the 20 yard line. Fitzgerald in the shotgun again. Throw across, quick little 
pass. And he's going to be wrapped up and out of bounds he goes. That'll be number nine in Colby Dupree. That's a trademark Bill Belichick, Tom Brady type play right there. Went to a lot of Brandon Cooks and uh, a lot of other receivers over the years. Might even see it tonight right now. Actually, yeah. Quickly look at that score. And Pembroke has called a timeout. The Raiders leading the Patriots 13 to three with 639 remaining in the second period. So we'll be able to catch some of that game after we get out of here as we are under six minutes to go in this game as well. Pembroke really has got to figure something out here to try to get on the scoreboard. I'm out on the field as Coach Ray trying to keep his lead, trying to talk up his players. Pembroke just breaks their huddle. So fourth down. From about the 19 yard line. They gotta get to the 14. And actually they're gonna try a, a field goal here. High snap, kick is no good. So Pembroke attempts a good size long field goal just not much air time on that and at a tough angle it made things difficult so a goose egg up on the board still for the spartans and now with 554 to go expect a lot of running from the central squad We'll see who will get the ball the most here. And a shotgun now. Snap, handoff. S gets through the middle, still working on his feet. Offensive lineman still working, but finally brought down by big number 73 and Michael Bouchard of Pembroke. Uh, a couple yard gain, but overall Bouchard was able to stop them in their tracks. And more time will come off the clock. And as we've seen over the past number of years, Coach Ray will just drain that clock. Caden and Salvi back out there doing the QB work. Owen Kelly in the tight end position. Salvi gets the ball, handoff again. Oh, finds some hole, stiff arm, finds the sidelines. He could go all the way. Little Green score on a 81 yard touchdown. And they will take a 12-0 lead. A heck of a play, hoping for no flags. I don't see any, and Caden Preston is impressing me with his running game. He gets some love from his teammates. Slowly walks back to the sideline where his teammates are waiting to celebrate with him. And Liam Murphy will step up and be the holder for this extra point, trying to make it a 13-0 game. What a run right there. And the high snap, oh, he fakes it. See if he can get around. Gets around the edge, the throw. 
It's good for a two-point conversion. Owen Kelly wants some love from Murphy who throws the two-point conversion. And now instead of a 13-0 lead, it's now a 14-0 lead for the Little Green. Not sure if that was a, supposed to happen or not, but either way, it worked to perfection. And now Pembroke will get the ball and now running out of time, running out of energy. You can see on that long run that no one was catching up to Preston. And good to see both Memorial playing extremely well versus Bedford and now Little Green playing really well versus the Pembroke Academy Spartans. Now, Caden Salvi has to yell his teammates saying kickoff because they weren't all out there. I think they were making plans for dinner after this. But the game's not over. Still 4.52 remaining. A long delay in this game right here. Officials are all over here with a player. Actually, it looks like the coaches. The trainer is definitely out there. Never a good sign with a Coaches have to come out and talk together. Not sure if there was just like a little disrespect between the players being said or, you know, what exactly it was. You know, it's supposed to be for fun and practice and sometimes, you know, testosterone gets a little too crazy there. Uh, looks like the game is officially over uh, the Rob Ray is telling his kids to get off the field and just like that this game is officially over with 452 remaining uh, a unique thing uh, to call the game with this much time left but I think that Pembroke had seen enough Central is certainly in control of this game and just like that game over and that will do it for the Queen City Jamboree so for Kyle Heavey at Manchester Public Television it's been a pleasure to be with you we'll be back for a number of Friday nights so stay tuned to see who will be playing between the West Blue Knights, Central Little Green or the Memorial Crusaders and maybe we'll sprinkle in some Trinity as well but Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast of this Queen City Jamboree, games two, three, and four, and that'll do it for this tonight. So thank you all very much, and for Executive Director Jason Cody, Operations Specialist Jill Lahr, Operations Assistant Brent McCormick, we thank you, the viewers, for continuing to watch Manchester Public Television. So take care. Goodbye.